Attorney at Law Isat Buchanan is convinced that National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang will strategize a plan for the early release of inmates considered low risk given the increase of COVID-19 in the country's prison system. Although the government has revealed on several occasions that they are considering other alternatives to curb the spread of the virus amongst inmates, Mr. Buchanan argues that correctional facilities are under state care and as such, the government will be required to act accordingly. Mr. Buchanan is adding his voice to calls from several human rights groups, including Stand Up for Jamaica, who have repeatedly called on the government to act swiftly on the matter. The attorney says if the government delays addressing the matter, the families of infected inmates could file a lawsuit. That is one place I pray we never have to get. And that is why we're speaking about prevention now, because that is what's going to happen. Somebody is going to step to a podium and apologize. People are going to be angry and call for the resignation for the mismanagement of the pandemic within the prison system and, and, and the death of persons, brothers, sisters, and family members. We don't, I never want to wake up in Jamaica and have to address that. You have such a cord in me that I almost can't speak because that is what we are, are, are trying to avoid and we are begging, we are begging officials to let it not reach there. Up to news time, statistics from the Department of Correctional Services show that seven of the 11 facilities across the island have confirmed 56 positive COVID-19 cases, of which 23 are inmates and 33 staff members. Kerry Ann Golson, Frontline News.